Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today on Valentine's Day to review set number 40201, the Lego Valentine's 2016 dog. This set has 150 pieces and is ages 6 plus. Decorate your room with this handmade wall decal of the evolution of the Lego minifigure. These decals from Be A Creative Designer look great and come in a large variety of colors and sizes. Check the link in the description to learn more, as well as don't forget to watch the review video I've made of this decal. Subscribe to BrickLover18 for more daily Lego videos. So here's the Valentine's Day dog itself. First let's take a look at the head without the rest of the body to distract us. As you can see, the ears move in a 360 degree angle, so you can kind of position them wherever you want, whether you want them weird or funky or just like normal dog ears. As you can see, the dog has a really big nose, a big black nose right on the front, with the two little eyes here, and I love those eye pieces. Right here, you can see that there is like a tile, and it's used as the tongue, and it's really neat the way they did this, because it's not being held on by this stud here, and it's not a plate, it's a tile, it's neat. The back of the head here, as you can see, has got all these like slope pieces and these curves just to make it look more like a round head, and that's the same with the top. They use a variety of 3D brick features here just to make it look like an actual face and not like a flat dog. So as you can see, he's got the big nose with the little, the bigger nose, kind of like the face sticking out here as well as some slopes. Very cool. When you put the dog on the rest of the body, it looks awesome as well. As you can see here in the one hand, he's got like a big heart and the heart does come off and as you can see, it's got slopes and it does look like a heart. A little wide, I think, but they could have maybe expanded the bottom a little more, but overall it's still cool. Off in this hand is a bow and arrow and like he's like shooting the heart which is kind of cool and again the bow does come off and it's a minifigure scale bow. I mentioned what is in the hands but as you can see here are the hands as well. They are built just like the ears with 360 degree rotation which is neat and they don't bend or anything which I think it would have been really cool if they could have been bendy but I guess we'll have to do with this. The body here as you can see is all like a white belly with a tan and brown back area. Again, it looks like an actual dog with the 3D bricks and slopes that they used. Here are the feet here. As you can see, they do move, but not very much. I'd say like a 45 degree angle. And again, there's still some really cool slopes and use of tile pieces here to make the feet look unique. For the feet, they did indeed use these little teeth pieces for claws, which I really like. I think that's a great idea. I almost forgot to mention that there's like a little bow tie on the dog, which is nice. The back here again, more 3D slopes and stuff, and I really like the 3D build of this. I think they did a very good job. The tail does rotate 360 degrees, so you could really spin it around so the dog can wag its tail. One thing I don't like about it though is when you go to set the dog down, the tail catches first. I, just, I don't know, it doesn't really affect the use of the dog, but I just don't like that. This is a very cool Valentine's set, and I do really like it, but I do have to be honest with you and say that I'm more of a fan of last year's Valentine's set. I just think it's more features, more pieces, and just an overall cooler look. Thanks so much for watching this review of 40201, The Valentine's Dog. I really hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have a great day.